Hello, foodies. Today, we are diving into the flavors of Bora cuisine with a traditional sweet treat. Join me as I guide you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make Bora-style Malida, a delightful sweet wheat porridge that is perfect for festive occasions or as a comforting dessert. Let's get started and bring the taste of Bora culture to your kitchen. But before we begin, let's go over the ingredients you'll need to make this delicious Bora style Malida. These ingredients will help us create a wholesome and sweet porridge that's loved by all. For our Bora style Malida, you'll need For dough 2 cup, 200 grams wheat flour 1 quarter cup ghee or cream 6 tablespoon semolina, suji 1 quarter cup warm milk 1 pinch salt 1 half teaspoon cardamom powder water as required oil or ghee to fry one half cup mixed nuts crushed two tablespoon ghee for assembling one quarter cup gum goo crushed in bits three quarters minus one cup 150 grams shredded jaggery gur gold less or more to taste all right now that we have our ingredients ready Let's dive into the step-by-step -step process of creating a Bora-style Melida. In a large bowl mix, wheat flour, semolina, clarified butter, milk powder and salt with hands until you have a crumbly mixture. Mix milk and water as required to make a tight dough. Form small 2-inch dough balls and press inside fist to embed deep finger marks. This is muthia, and this shape of dough helps thorough cooking from inside. In a wok, deep fry muthia in small batches in clarified butter or oil on medium flame until crispy golden. Let muthia cool then crumble with a food processor. In same wok, deep fry crushed gum until it puffs up completely with constant stirring. Add puffed gum to crumble muthia. Mix well. Take 1 tablespoon clarified butter in a pan and fry cardamom powder, pistachio, almond, melon seeds for 30 seconds until crisp. Add to crumble muthia. In same pan, heat 1 tablespoon clarified butter and add grated jaggery. Let the jaggery melt to runny consistency. As it starts to boil from sides of pan pour melted jaggery over crumbled mixture. Mix thoroughly with a spoon. Jaggery will be very hot, be careful. To serve, heat melida on slow heat and serve warm garnished with more nuts. And there you have it. Our Bora style melida is now ready to be served. This comforting and sweet wheat porridge is perfect for special occasions or as a delicious dessert. I hope you've enjoyed this recipe tutorial and that it inspires you to make your own Bora style Malida at home. It's a delightful way to explore the flavors of Bora culture and add a touch of sweetness to your day. MMM, the rich and aromatic flavors and nuts complement the creamy texture of the porridge. It's a true delight for the taste buds. That concludes today's video. And as always, let us know in the comments what recipes you'd like to see next. Happy cooking, and I'll see you in the next video. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel for more exciting and amazing tutorials.